power. Yeah. He don't have any power. Yeah, 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 yeah. He needs us to side with him to sabotage the very purpose of God. Number three, the Lord gave me that Satan desires for us to miss or skip the very process till the very foundation or structure has been built correctly so that it'll collapse when you get to your final destination. Come on, come on. I'm going to say that again because you didn't sound like you got it. Satan desires for us to miss or skip the process. Till the very foundation or structure has been built correctly so that we will utterly fall. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. So what he wants you to do, he wants you to skip certain steps. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. That's what he wants. God says that the very steps of a good man are ordered. Oh, by, God, God, by who? God, God. Uh-huh. The steps of a good man are ordered. What Satan wants to do is buy step, have you, to step over certain steps. Right. You're sitting, you wonder what this boy talking about. I can talk about myself. Amen. There were times, amen, I just come out of a crazy season in my life. Trying to figure out, God, what is exactly your purpose for me? While I hear you saying what you're saying, I also see what I see. Amen. And not understanding that they have to go in line. There has to be a balance. There has to be perfect symmetry. Amen. What we, we, we think that God is not considered, that God is not concerned about the details, but the enemy is a liar. God is very much so concerned about the details. Don't tell me he's not concerned about details. When he will create a world, and in that world he will create it to be self-sufficient. He will create it with different birds and different bugs and different species and different herbs and different things. Don't tell me he's not concerned about the ah, he know he's not concerned about details. God is into details. He's into details so much that you can look at the human body where you have different parts of the body that work off of each other. And if there was something that happens, it's a breakdown. But he also places other things to supplement that that's been broken. My God, you can look at somebody and tell them, tell them for me that God is into the detail. I know you don't think that it means that much. When you're coming to the house of God and giving him the praise, but he's into details. I know you don't feel it that much. Think it's necessary to attend all these church services, but God is into the details. I know you don't think it that much. It means that much. But you can read your word. But God is into the small things. Oh yeah. He said before I make you ruler over great things. I test you in the little. I test you in the smallest. Then I trust you with this assignment. Then I trust you with this little assignment. Before I trust you into my purpose. Somebody shot purpose. Amen. Now this year has a part two, a subtopic. The subtopic would be the process of glory. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Purpose is keeping me alive. Then the subtopic would be uh-huh, the process of, of, of glory. The process of glory. And the, the truth, the truth thing is that we don't want to go through process. Uh-huh. Amen. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Amen. We don't like process. Good. We don't like to wait for due process. Amen. We don't like to do anything. I mean, I've been teaching uh, Bible study for a little bit and gave it a little illustration. Amen. How process works. Amen. I couldn't do it. This is not the setting. Amen. But we had, I wanted to have a table. 
And in the tone of the table, I wanted to get, bring an egg. I wanted to bring a cup of flour. I wanted to bring vanilla extract. I wanted to bring butter and some, you know, so whatever else that it takes. And I wanted to get all of us just a piece. I wanted to give you the egg by itself. I wanted to fill your mouth with the flour. Try to try to take that down. I wanted to give you vanilla extract, you know, all by itself. It's too powerful. But what we don't understand is how it all works together for the good. Uh, many of us, we want to step, step, we want to skip steps and when you skip steps at the end of a thing it's not right it's not done correctly amen the very foundation of what you built is not able to uphold you it's not able to stabilize you you don't understand that you're headed for greatness you don't understand that greatness is in your future that God has made you great he said in Zephaniah I'll make your name great but before you know that I'll make you great he said, you got to know that I am the great I am. Many of us, we want to be wonders. We want to be superstars. We want to be this and that. But you want to skip over the process. Ah, no, no, no. God is working out of you something that he has for you so that you will give him glory. And that it will only serve for his purpose. Somebody shout. Process is a systematic series of action directed to some end. A systematic series of action directed to some end. A continuous action, operation, and or series of change taking place in a definite manner. All right, so we see the process of glory, what God wants to do. Amen. Now, if you can go with me to Genesis, the 30, Genesis, the 37th chapter. Hallelujah. Genesis, the 37th chapter. Verse 1 through 5. Mm -hmm. And we're almost out of here. And Jacob, y'all y'all there, I want y'all to see this. I want you to, to see with your eyes. Because you got so much coming at your, 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 your image. And you got so much on our phone. We got so much coming through us at the TV. Why don't yeah. you put your eyes on the word of God? Yeah. Amen. Fix your eyes. Or let your eyes see this. Amen. All right? 37. Genesis 37, 1. You got it? Amen. All right. It said, And Jacob dwell in the land wherewith his, wherein his father was a stranger in the land of Canaan. Yeah. These are the generations of Jacob. Joseph, being 17 years old, was feeding the flock with his brethren. And the lad was with the sons of Belhah and with the sons of Zelpah, mm -hmm. his father's wives. And Joseph brought unto his father their evil reports. Yeah. Now, jo now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children. Now we really, we really digest it here and, and, and we're taking time with Joseph. Because this, 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 this presents a problem Come on. for a father to, to, to have to love for one over another. That's yeah. right, that's right. It would have to be so for it to be for it to have been written in the Word of God. That's right. That's right. It's not like this was just a one-time occurrence. It, it, it just didn't happen once. But Joseph went through some things. Amen. While his his father yet loved him, his brothers yet despised him. Come on. Uh, I begin to ask God, well, why, why was it? Why was it? And he began to show me how Joseph, what Joseph tried to do, Joseph tried to overcompensate for the fact that his mother died. Yeah. All right, so he has other sons who live in this house with his wives. He has a wife by the name of Leah. And then Leah had handmaidens. So he went ahead and he slept with them. This was all a part of the custom. It was, it was legal. All right. And, and what happened is these boys, they grow up in the house with their 
both with their mother and father. But not so much as Joseph. Joseph, amen, he, he had a comp, comp, complary, he had a, a complex, amen, a complex because his mother wasn't there. Amen. I can just imagine, could you imagine what it's like to live in a house? And some of you, that may be your testimony to be loved by a parent over the other, 